dawdling around, coming to a baby who's born in a barn. How do yeah. men from the east, sorry about that, how do men from the east, based on the stars, come to visit a baby and then we don't know what happens to the story of Jesus thereafter? So, yeah, in a, we say anyway that there were many Christians as well as Jews who had recognized the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He was a prophet. So as the brother was previously saying, uh, I'll just continue off what he said. There are evidences to show that uh, the Prophet Muhammad was recognized by the early communities. But going back to where, where we were talking about, so there's two early Christian communities, the Petrian community, which was... Um, is mentioned in Acts the early 120 uh, Christians. Remember, Christianity hadn't developed at this time. When we say Christianity, we're talking about Jews who believed in Jesus. Jews who believed in Jesus. That's 600 AD, you mean? Uh, no. I'm talking about the time of Jesus oh, after so he had you, after he had uh, died. We're talking about. So so, what happens is. Um, so oh, Epiphan, it's cold, isn't it? Yeah, yeah very cold. <laughs> I thought you were meant to be in China. Oh yeah, so, no, let's work it back. Let's put you after you. So you had like it's in. Um, so you have Jesus, according to the Bible, he's teaching, preaching. But the thing is, most of the details of his teaching and preaching are missing. What you actually have is that it says that he preached, and then it stops. But it doesn't mention what he preached. Yeah. Very little information we have in the Bible. Say maybe accumulation of three years. And there are many gaps in it. For example, the infancy narrative from when he's young and the three men come and visit him. We don't have any idea who these men are, why they're coming to visit him. It's very odd. And then everyone just disappears until Jesus again is caught in the, in the temple and he's, he's teaching and preaching. And then it, everything disappears until the man is nearly 30 years old. Similar to the Francis saying about uh, he was born, not born, uh, mm. placed somewhere which is not resembling the crib, like on a flat surface. Yeah, the Quran doesn't mention it, it mentions that the, his mother. So imagine this now, in Judaic societies, in the, in the fornication, sort of, uh, fornication is dealt with with capital sleep punishment. On the hay. Not, not so we don't a, fully understand why did Mary, pumpkin, like, it? how could she get away it, with a child <laughs> yeah. in Francis, a Judaic though, society where they would have stoned her for adultery? Suggests it's not. Now, Obviously, we're not materialistic. We believe in uh, God as Muslim. So in Islam, we say that the child Jesus they would have had the ability to take him somewhere to free the mother uh, off any accusations. Uh, yeah, remember, we're not materialistic. King Herod, who so. Um, yeah, so the early Christian community after Jesus were Jews who believed in Jesus. They weren't Christians. Yeah, they, they weren't worshipping Jesus either. Because they would never have been accepted in the temples or synagogues with the other Jews. They let him live quite long ago, didn't they? Followers of Jesus would get attacked by other Jews. Oh, like, he jumps back. Oh, look, all the big guns are here. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> So no. So this is it. So there's two types of uh, Jews here that followed Jesus. Two, oh sorry, two types of communities that followed Jesus. Remember what Jesus said: "I have not been sent unto, except unto the lost sheep of Israel." He said to the Christians. Go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. This is what Jesus said. In fact, he said to his disciples, go back to Jerusalem. And who took the throne or the authority after Jesus? It was known as James. Now, James was the head of the community, which is mentioned in Acts. 120 strong community, wherein they had Mary, the mother of Jesus, and they had James, and they had Peter, one of the three pillars of the church. Now, these were the earliest communities. They were referred to as uh, by Epiphanius or Salamis in Panarion. We were, he was an early heresiologist. Uh, he mentioned that these 120 only believed in one God. Because he classes them as a heres heresy, even though they're the disciples of Jesus. He, he mentions that they were first called Jessians. Jessian is the father of David, and David is obviously one of the ancestors of Jesus. So he mentioned they did not believe Jesus to be God, nor the Son of God. And from the Jessians you had the Nazarenes. And from the Nazarenes you had the Ebionites and the, the small communities who believed this early Christianity, Judaic Christianity. They believed only in one God and Jesus was a prophet. Now what happened afterwards, remember Jesus had 12 disciples. Now um, the Bible mentions that there's 12 seats or thrones in heaven. 
before these 12 disciples. Now one of the disciples, he betrays Jesus. Do you remember which one it was? Judas. Judas with the kiss. This is what we're told. You betray your master with a kiss. And then what happened? The disciples sat again and they said, let us choose another disciple to take place over this one, Judas, who betrayed Jesus. Did they choose Paul? No, they didn't. They chose someone else and then what happened? Paul came afterwards claiming he saw Jesus in a vision. Paul, Paul, I, I Paul has... Don't believe that. You don't believe that, is it? Jesus, so. There's about three instances, yeah? There's three instances of that story which contradict each other. Where he says that he's on the road to Damascus. His name at that time is Saul, uh, Saul of Tarsus. So then what is, some, some accounts say that he saw something, he heard something, but the others who were with him didn't see anything. So now Saul or Paul, his name changes now to Paul, he goes, instead of going to Jerusalem where another vision comes to him and says, don't go to Jerusalem where the disciples are there because they won't believe you. He goes on to Rome and he goes on to preach for another 13 or so years. He's preaching in Rome, the hub of paganism. Yeah. Now, Rome, as we were mentioning, it believes in a syncretic value where they want to unite the, the land over there. So, in order to unite the people, they take beliefs from Egypt, Egypt, they take the Greek beliefs and they make it local. So, Horus, Isis and the gods of Egypt will now become Jupiter and Mars for the local people in Rome. And we know the Jewish community that we were first mentioning, yeah? Nero, he destroyed them. He erased Jerusalem. Yeah, how are you again? Okay? He erased Jerusalem, Nero, because he blamed the fire onto the early Jewish community in Jerusalem. Josephus, or Flav Josephus Flavius, he mentions if a visitor were to come upon this land, he would never recognize there was civilization of this land because it's so badly raised. So there was no one of the Jewish community who believed in one God and Jesus as the Messiah left. Not Jesus as God. So only after that, Hadrian in the year 135, which is a Roman Empire, a Roman Emperor. One second, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck you up. It's, that's okay. Hadrian, he rebuilds Jerusalem as capital of Alia. Now Alia means family, capital, and it refers to the hills in Rome. The hills that he used to place the idols upon. Now in the very front of Jerusalem, he places a trinity. Now this trinity is composed of Jupiter, Mars, and even if someone reads the New Year Testament, when Paul comes down with Barnabas in the community, they say Paul, no, they say Paul and uh, Barnabas are Jupiter and Mars. Why? Because they only have eloquence. Because they have eloquence, these people naively are now calling them also gods. So paganism was something which was rife in the Roman communities and the Trinity existed in multiple forms. In multiple forms. Trinity existed in multiple forms. Now the earliest Jewish uh, community who accepted Jesus were the early Christians and they accepted him as, as a prophet and, and, uh, and Messiah. Prophet and Messiah. And it's only later paganism it crept into Christianity. Uh, so what happened as Christianity grew, grew larger, they took over the pagan temples. If you look at the architecture of pagan tem uh, of early Christian churches, you find that they're also constructed. They're constructed. Yeah, you find that they're constructed on the design of pagan temples. Christmas, the changing of Sabbath as well. Yeah? Christmas, Christmas. Christmas. So, for example, the Jews and the early Christians used to do Sabbath on, on, on a Saturday, but then it was changed to Sunday to coincide with the Cape Paganism. So, I'll just read this uh, from the brother. Church fathers met in 325. This is the Council of Nicaea. Yeah? Um, at the Council of Nicaea and set out an orthodox biblical definition concerning the divine identity. However, it wasn't until 381 at the Council of Constantinople that the divinity of spirit was affirmed. So, I'll just hold on, let me expand on that, yeah? So, the brother is saying, this is it, with the concept of Trinity, and I, I mean not to offend anyone, it did not exist. The Jews always believed, Excellent. so the Jews always believed in one God. This is the most important part of Judaism, is the Shema. Everything the Shema. Every, hear, hear, O Israel, your Lord, the God, is one. And you should worship Him Deuteronomy with all. 6, Deuteronomy 6 4. Jesus Throughout the Old Testament, it's continuously banging on about monotheism. However, <laughs> Trinity, it crept in as 
Paul moved into the Roman Empire. So what had happened is um, in the Council of Nicaea, which was adjudicated by the Emperor Constantine in the year 325, there was... So Constantine, um, there was... There was obviously the Athanasius and the Arian disputes about whether the Trinity exists. And this argument of Trinity went late as the 4th century where some still denied the Holy Spirit being part of the Trinity. And this is, uh, this is what the whole crux of Trinity is, the Father, the Ghost and the Son. But yet this was divined much, much later. That means according to their theology, Right yeah. Yeah. As, uh, the world six part where, where, where it brings it. Yes. So read for them. Just read them here. Okay. So the three in one Trinity doctrine originated from paganism. So so so, so brother also as in I've not met the brother before. A Christian He's a Christian a Unitarian. He does not believe in the Trinity, and this is very common amongst many people. They find the concept of Trinity, and I'm not here to smash the hammer over anyone's no, head. It's just facts. It's just facts, and it's a, it's a hard pill that we have to accept that Judaism only ever taught one God. And when Jesus came, who was also a Jew and prayed as a Jew, he would not have said, I am a God, you should worship Hero me. Israel. Your God, Lord your God is, one. is one. And he is a he is a jealous God. That's right. And he yeah. says also, he says also that um, Worship God my when, Lord when, when and your Lord. Touched him, he says, Touch me not because I have not ascendance to the Father. Father. Your Father, my, my Father, Father, your God, my God. <laughs> read, brother, read. Why does why thou callest me good when there is none who is good except for the Father? John no, seventeen no. three it says Winter. John seventeen three he go. says Nice going. There's only one true <laughs> God and that That's is the Father. So here Jesus is mentioning there's only one true God. John 17 verse 3. This is a verse which troubled the church fathers so badly that some of them had to change the verse to include Jesus um, as part of because God. Because the Roman God Catholic is a name God Father. When the Bible teaches that God no man your father on earth, your father in heaven. Mm. So when the Roman Catholic took that on and took the religion, they created oh. the yeah, first Christ. Yes. Mm. We can prove that biblically it's here still, you know. Mm. But you can't find that in the Bible because they remove these verses. Yeah. So if you go to First Maccabee, it's yes. Jesus three, God. 40, 8 to 49. It's Jesus says, uh, God. When they look in the book of the, the law mm. and they, 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 they portray the likeness of their scrooge to the likeness of their image. So we know it's a Roman Catholic who changed Jesus Christ <laughs> and turned him into this pagan. Yeah, Excellent. So the Roman Catholics, the name in itself, it tells you that this comes from yeah, Roman pag or pagan know, Rome. The Roman ca ca Catholics, so they syncretized. Uh, Paul here had said, yeah. That the oh, it starts, so you can read it for them. Yeah, I just want to take further. Development of the Trinity. Uh, mentioned about the uh, Antichrist being chained up somewhere. There's more for you. This, what you this, is, this is going to be a book, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a book. No, but but I think uh, the brother, what's your name? Ashawa. Ashawa. Wawa? Ashawa. Ashawama. I think he and myself were appealed to the people that you read about the stuff about the origin of the Trinity. It is a developing theology that did not exist in the early communities of Christianity who were Jews that also believed in Jesus as a Messiah. So Jesus only ever came to preach one God, like the thousands of prophets before him. Baphomet, 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 Satan, 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 Show the camera. Show the camera. Show the camera. No, that's so. So anyway, paganism is uh, uh, is something which was rife in Rome, the the hub or the birthplace of Roman Catholicism. It's just like when, when the restrainer is uh, taken away in this man's. Oh, mate. Yeah, could you? So anyway, we say. I went to. Um, we say anyway, Paul he goes into pagan Rome and he starts preaching to the people. He talks about uh, pagan. Well, I was preaching to the Israelites, but he make it sound like oh, he talk to the, the, the whole congregation because no, every time that they prosecuted the, the, the Jews, you know. Yeah. But you see, oh, we oh, say we the Jew, right? We follow Christ. The real Jew follow Christ. The Jewish them don't believe. But the real Jew follow Christ because we were just thinking about in the wilderness. 
the John the Baptist and the Jews them. The right Jews them are real Christian and follow Christ. But we know that Christ is not God Almighty, the Father. They taste so they can't teach that. So there's only one God, and this is what all of the prophets before had mentioned. All of the prophets from before, from age, from Adam all the way to Jesus to Muhammad, peace of it, only ever prophet said there was one God. Jesus Christ, right? When it comes to Jesus Christ, he's more than a prophet. But the way they said it, because you know when somebody says, I'm your savior, they misinterpret certain things. That's why I said, oh, the Iraqi, Iranian, and Jacob, thy brother. And then I had the handmade God. Isa is the end of the world. Yeah, so there's a dispute in regards to the Bible, depending if you're from the Catholics or the Protestants or the Ethiopian church. The real Christian worship. We have, I have the original Bible, but I don't bring it today. But okay. I'm going to read it for you. Out of the book, where they don't want yeah. This is in the world. Test. This is the Apocrypha. These are the books that's known as the ones that did not make it in the canonized version of the Bibles that we have. There's 14 books, right? Yeah, that has. So, the, the Old Testament, right? Speak of Christ. So this is what it says. But read one. So this is in the second address on number 7, verse, verse 28. So the brother is saying, For my son Jesus shall be revealed with those that be with him and that and they that remain shall rejoice within 400 years after these years shall my son Christ die and all men that shall have so bring, life so they bring in the trinity uh, 381 years okay so you this see, is the you argument see, you the see brothers the, you making see the, you see the scripture fulfill right yeah because them change him image right so let's show you them change him image yeah. Yeah. so the next one in the first Maccabees it says and laid open the book of the law what is the book of the law? Yeah, Musa, right? Yeah. Okay, Moses, Moses, yeah. Ah. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. The, they bought also the priest's garments and the first fruits and the tithes. Now, tithes is like tax. Uh, and the Nazarites, they stood up who had accomplished them. So at this point, uh, we, be, we both agree that there's only one God. But the only thing is, the Muslims don't believe that Jesus had died. It's just confirmed, right? You know, it's time for the foolish people. As a Christian, you either take it or you don't take it. It's not me, it's the Bible, right? So you know, it's or whatever they put. So this is the book of James in 2.13. So thou believest, believest that there is one God Okay, sorry, can I just give some background? So this is uh, the book of James. Now James, James is referred to as Jesus' brother. He was the head of the early Jewish church, which I was mentioning. In Acts, it mentioned 120 disciples gathered as a community in Jerusalem under the dictates or the orders of Jesus. So here, James is, is the head of this early church which was sanctioned by Jesus and Paul who taught that uh, you should not do the works or the law is being refuted here in this verse by James the brother of Jesus he says thou believe believest that there is one God thou must do well so if you believe in one God you believe well the devils also believe but the devils also believe what's the difference between you and the devils and he said but will thou know O vain man that faith without works is dead meaning you have to follow the law this is the difference between paul this is the difference between paul so this this is the difference between paul's teachings and jesus's teachings jesus taught one god with law Moses came with law. Jesus said, I've come to fulfill. I've not come to abolish. But then what happened? Well, Paul went into Roman pagan. Pagan. Shalom. Shalom. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, yeah. He went into pagan Rome and started trying to abolish the law. Why? Because he was trying to introduce uh, Christianity in his understanding to the pagans. And we'll leave that for now. I hope everyone refers back to the references. Um, this is not to beat ever anyone over the head with. This is from sincerity. So we ask uh, God Almighty to guide one and all towards the true path. 
uh, and we ask God Almighty to forgive us for our sins. Thank you very much. As you can see, when we speak of God, we speak of the Father. If we say Christ, we speak of a Son, not the Almighty God. You understand? So people need to get it right. We cannot follow what the pagan teach. Because if you follow what the pagan teach, you're going to be serving three gods and there's no hiding partner to the Father. So you're saying the pagans, they believe in three gods? That's yep. what you're saying? The Trinity existed um, in multiple... Yeah, sure. So you got, you got Jupiter. Jesus is God. They believe Jesus, the Son, is God. The Trinity. The Father, Jesus, the Ghost, the and the Son. God. So they believe these the three composed of a no, trinity. Jesus that is one. In, um, so in paganism, in paganism, this existed in multiple forms. Horus, Isis, Osiris. That was the early Egyptian one. Yeah, but we're talking about today though. No one believes this. No, no, today, uh, I take no any Christians. Are you Christian? No. Okay, take any Christian, ask them. Is it Jesus God? They will say to you, yes. Is it the Father God? They will say, yes. No, they say like, Jesus with the Son of God. That's no, no, they say to you, but, but, Jesus is but, God. But, okay, so it says in John 3, 16, yeah? For God, the, uh, for God so loved the world, he sent his only Son. This is what it says. But if one reads Psalms 2, 7, and Psalms was given to who? To David. He, it says, on this day I have begotten you. God is saying to yeah. David, you are my only Son. It says in the Old Testament, Israel is the firstborn of God. It says in the genealogy, Yaqub. It says in the, one second, it says in the genealogy, you know this term, son of God, it's an idiom, like we say it's raining cats and dogs in English. What's the name of Hosea in English? I think it's Hosea. Yeah, what do tell you? Hosea, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him about this one as well, before the Christian comes. Yeah. Tell him this story. No, but it's common sense. Listen this one. See, so this is what happened. So, you know, Hosea in the Quran, it mentions and it bears witness that the Christian community were not the only ones to say that Jesus was the Son of God. Hosea was also elevated and he was a prophet of before to the same status so this this concept of son of god is not something unique or particular to jesus it is an idiom in the semitic languages the semitic languages for example when we talk of god we say he but we know god is not masculine nor feminine he's beyond this or he's beyond the physiology of men so we have to understand the original language when we're reading into things so when we say trinity where did the trinity does it mention that in the bible the brother testified no in fact the whole continuity of the prophets is there's only one god and there are multiple messengers who he sent saying there's one god but then you have paul who never saw jesus except in a dream and the dream told him don't go to jerusalem where the disciples are the people will be afraid of you instead go to pagan rome where there are multiple gods and preach to them and then when Paul went to Barnabas to the people of like the people said in the Lycan language, he said the gods have come down to us, and they called Paul Jupiter and they called Barnabas, Barnabas Mars. Remember this is these two are part of a trinity. Remember they were called yeah. Paul they call him God. But, but you have to observe, right? Um, this is the first I've heard that, that people check are calling it. Paul God. Yeah, yeah check it. Yeah, so yeah, does yeah. someone yeah, have I'm internet? Observe, right? Does yeah. someone have internet? Yeah, Could yeah. you pull that verse up? I can confirm that. You okay. don't need to go in. I can confirm that. So look, for example, John. John, Bible, this, yeah, if you could. So there's four Gospels Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The latest of them is John. And, and Acts of the Apostles. The, the Acts of the Apostles. Acts, Acts of the Apostles. Five, five, uh, so, so this, so, yeah. what's your name? Gary. Uh, don't think Gary. I'm trying to score points. No, 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 I want, I want. I'm a little bit of a character. Those are 